How do you grow marijuana and tips for growing medical marijuana? How do you grow marijuana is becoming a common question. Marijuana can be grown indoors or outdoors and in many climates around the world. The plants enjoy a lot of outdoor sun or artificial light indoors in order to grow healthy. Growing medical marijuana is becoming increasingly common in states throughout the United States and countries around the world as laws allow for patients to use marijuana for medicinal purposes. Even Wikipedia's cannabis cultivation page says that it presents common techniques and facts regarding the cultivation of the flowering plant cannabis, primarily for the production and consumption of marijuana flowers. Before you start growing medical marijuana, you will want to check with the legislation and figure out what's within the law for your state. Otherwise, there are a few things that you should know about growing cannabis when you first start. Here are some tips to help you avoid some of the first-time mistakes growing medical marijuana. Marijuana Growing Equipment To grow the best possible medical marijuana product possible, you'll need the right supplies. New growers frequently commit themselves to unrealistic and expensive first-time grows. It is much more efficient to learn to grow and purchase more equipment as you gain more experience. Rather than invest in high-end equipment in the beginning, remember the KISS method. Keep it simple, stupid. Watering and Nutrition Overfeeding nutrients is extremely common for beginners growing medical marijuana. When all else fails, follow the directions on the nutrition label. Watering is very important for plants and they need to make sure they have the proper nutrition. Also, overwatering kills marijuana plants as well. A marijuana plant should not have a wet soil, only a moist one. Before you water your soil, measure how dry or wet it is. To promote a healthy growth, remember to water on a regular basis your marijuana plants and make sure at least the top few inches of the soil dries out first. Starting with seeds or clones. As for people who are first-time growers of medical marijuana, it is advisable for you to start with seeds and not with clones. If you are starting with marijuana clones, you will then set yourself early on with the problem of bug infestations. Never grow seeds from a seeded marijuana plant, also known as a hermaphrodite, unless you are prepared for possible disappointments. This is the number one reason why people buy marijuana seeds from seed banks. Whether you start from seeds or clones, it is your decision to choose which method you prefer to use and what resources you have available to start growing medical marijuana. A good plant environment. Marijuana grown outdoors should be planted in a location that receives at least 8 hours of sun each day. Areas that get early morning and afternoon sunlight are the best. If you're growing marijuana indoors, location is very important in growing medical marijuana. You will need to either find a place that gets a lot of sunlight, like a greenhouse, or invest in some growing lights to ensure your plants get the appropriate amount of light. Long-time marijuana growers will advise that the basement is the perfect place to grow your plant because managing the temperature will be easier. However, as long as you can control the humidity, temperature, and ventilation of your location, you can start growing medical marijuana on your own from a basement. Grow in soil or hydroponics. Marijuana can grow directly from a soil or through a system called hydroponics. Hydroponics is harder to overwater than soil due to the abundance of oxygen around the roots. If you choose to grow in soil, it will be best to prepare a pot with fertile, fertile soil. Clean the pot, then start peat moss filling the pot's bottom area. Make sure to fill in to about an inch. It will help in draining off the buildup of any nutrients. You can now start filling a pot with some fine soil as well. Both are good methods, but each has its own advantages and disadvantages. Consider 
what would be best for you and your location before choosing a system for growing medical marijuana. Now, you should know how to grow marijuana. So how do you grow marijuana? There are still many things you have to consider before growing medical marijuana. Depending on what type of results you're looking for, you can use elaborate lighting and watering systems to grow marijuana, although it is not necessary to grow marijuana. As long as the plants get enough light, are planted in good quality soil, and watered on a regular basis, they will likely flourish. Lastly, don't ever tell anyone about growing medical marijuana that does not need to know. How can you expect anybody to keep a secret that you cannot? In order to thoroughly understand everything to make your first time planning successful, you may want to consider avoiding many of these first time mistakes. Let us know what you think.